Hello, this is Popcorn Peril, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'll be talking about a topic that is very near and dear to my heart, Tangled the series. More specifically, Varian's relationship with his father. I am not a mental health professional and base this assessment on my own personal experience. Please take this with a grain of salt. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'd like to begin. On my last watch through of the series, which must have been for the third or fourth time, I began to take more notice in the behaviors exhibited by Varian and Kieran. It started with their first on-screen appearance all the way back in season one, and in fact, the very first episode. Kieran's disappointment in Varian's continued dangerous behavior is understandable, but seems a bit much. Or at least it just doesn't sit right. Later on in Queen Four Day is when I really start to pay more attention to the signs. But of course, I do have some notes taken from Great Expectations. The first thing is this. Varian seems overly eager to impress and seems to believe he has to prove himself worthy of praise or positive recognition. It's lightly touched on in the first episode, but when he goes to such lengths to impress Cassandra in the Science Expo, it's much more obvious to the audience. In the end, he really just wanted acknowledgement for his abilities, and he went to great lengths to get it. At this point, we understand through various hints that Varian has an unnatural attachment to Cass, and this also bothers me because this formed after he'd been saved from falling debris in the very first episode. This bothers me only because he developed this attachment so quickly and over such a trivial thing. This might be because he doesn't really get any affection in that kind of way and just kind of related it to being romantic. Next to this, the meeting with the king and Queen Fora Day. Not only does Varian seem overly distressed when being called a child, but the way he goes quiet seems to allude to the idea that he associates this with not-so-nice ideas. <laughs> this may be because people are constantly underestimating him, or just think he's worthless, which is something we've seen. I'm not sure if it's my own conclusion because of my exposure to such behavior, but I see subtle narcissistic traits in Kieran. As a father, he seems very withdrawn, and when he's not disinterested in Varian's work, he's very aggressive in his parenting style. Both times he spoke to Varian and Queen for a day, he talks in a way that displays he expects no pushback or resistance from Varian. This in itself is not too worrying, but Varian's response to it is. In both instances, he is afraid, or more correct, discouraged from speaking about his father's lie. He is eventually upset to the point where he does push back and tell Kieran off, but this comes after several instances. The way in which Varian becomes quiet both before and after Kieran sees the king makes me uncomfortable because it's something I've seen myself. The way he seems so quietly discouraged and muffled when he speaks to Rapunzel is something I've seen, speaking from personal experience. It may not be the case, and you don't have to agree, of course, but in my mind, there's something Kieran has deprived Varian of, and perhaps this is why he's so determined to make him proud, and of course, free him from the Amber. Not like you wouldn't do this for a parent that you love, but it did cause quite excessive reaction in Varian's part. Even after being freed, Kieran never really acknowledges his son in a verbal manner. And this may be just how Kieran's personality is, but him only saying I'm proud of you in the obligatory sense after being freed is a little, like I said, uncomfortable. Maybe I'm just overanalyzing, but I'm glad to share my opinion with you. Thanks for listening. This has been Popcorn Peril, and I'll talk to you next time.